broadcasting from subtropical Brisbane, Australia. I'm here on a work conference uh, and uh, I've got in front of me some of my favorite everyday carry items that I've packed uh, for this trip. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. You know, it's been uh, a nice time here. I've had some uh, chance to take in some of the sites uh, this morning. Uh, and uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity this afternoon to just do a quick video, show you my items, which in a sense doubles as a bit of a gift guide for men. So hopefully uh, some of these uh, will serve to be good ideas if you're thinking about uh, buying gifts for guys that you know. So let's flip it around and I will do a quick show and tell of my items here. All right, guys, so here we are. Sorry, it's not going to fit everything in uh, despite uh, the tripod I'm using. I, I can't actually get everything into view, but, you know, you work within your limitations. So let's start with the watches. So I, I brought three along um, because, you know, I like to be able to have a selection to swap into. So uh, first up is, of course, my Omega 300M Seamaster Diver. You know, this is one of my favorite watches uh, still you know that elegant bracelet uh, that excellent design I, I really always enjoy having this so this is my number one watch and this is something uh, i've brought along for this trip uh, next up uh, a japanese watch so i've gone by the theme of countries so that's japanese uh, in my hand here swiss japan and then the last one that you can guess uh, is a chinese watch so this one uh, is of course my seiko uh, Shogun, this is the Prospex SBDC029. I reviewed this uh, not so long ago, and this is an excellent watch uh, for you know being titanium, for being a, a starling, which I really like, and hence this is the Japanese watch which I chose to bring along for this particular trip. And then lastly, in terms of watches, uh, I have here uh, Quan Xin. Uh, this is the Quan Chin <laughs> Nomos Lambda, this is what I call it, uh, full model uh, down the bottom of course and, and links to uh, Gearbest and whatnot which I can find. Uh, so uh, a great watch which, you know, of course it takes a styling from the Nomos Lambda but it's something that I really like and something that has attracted comments, hence this has taken the spot of my preferred Chinese watch. Uh, it's also got that uh, nice, you know, this Kind of mesh bracelet which i enjoy i'm very much a metal bracelet person a lot of the other watches i have from Quan Chin are leather uh, since this one kind of automatically um, you know that takes my preference because it is a bracelet um, and then below that uh, in terms of watch related things i'll just move these guys out of here is a jewel uh, watch case so this one of course is a uh, uh, one that I got from Pantor watches uh, from uh, one of the ones that I reviewed earlier But you can just buy one without the branding and it is very handy for travel. You can get it in four uh, I think even six and eight configurations, but you know a two is a nice one. It's not over the top You know not, not going crazy carrying eight watches around and I think it's a nice little addition to a travel uh, everyday carry set uh, this has been something I enjoyed using you know it certainly protects it in the luggage uh, so you know that takes centerpiece there to hold uh, my watches so there you go that's the watches now next I'm gonna go with uh, I guess in terms of everyday carry uh, pen seems to be the thing that people like to talk about next and this is actually a Lamy studio this is just a brush metal uh, Lamy is a, a German uh, company fountain pen maker and they they make modern starlings which uh, that's something I really enjoy about their pens. I mean, if you look at the, the nib design there, it's not the traditional shape. It's kind of a more modern streamlined shape. Uh, this one writes very well. It's got a medium nib there, I think. Uh, and I use Parker Quink ink in this one. That's my uh, choice for relatively quick drying ink because I am left-handed. And this is something that I have very much enjoyed using. It, it is my main pen at work these days. So that's Lemmy. A studio a fountain pen down the bottom there all right next up uh, you know people uh, do like to talk about knives you know guys and knives uh, for everyday carry and what I brought today you know at home I might choose to use a Spyderco uh, Tenacious that's my, my choice of knife if it's just a simple blade this one is very very practical for travel just because of its multifunction nature and this is none other than a Leatherman you know US company uh, knife maker, multi tool maker. This is the Juice CS4, and I mean, just look at the functions here. You got the main pliers, uh, corkscrew, uh, if you need that. You know, bottle opener, multiple 
flat head screwdriver sizes of scissors there uh, and then you know you've got a cross head there a Phillips head and then I'll just show you if it's got a saw you know <laughs> that's just fantastic I, I, I just ever always wonder what you really use that for I guess maybe in some uh, you know wild game and fishing and whatnot but I've never had reason to use that it's just cool to have that there so there you go that's the Letterman Juice CS4 my choice of I guess knife or multi-tool for this trip um, this this comes in a, a leather pouch that it comes uh, you know for carrying all right after that I, I'm gonna cover audio so you know I, I, I like my music I don't uh, always listen to music on the way to work but when I do I like good quality audio and this is none other than a Sennheiser this is the Urbanite XL XL meaning the over ear rather than on ear uh, headphones uh, wireless Bluetooth so this is Bluetooth headphones um, you know for under $200 I reckon this is about 80% of the best you can get your hands on and that's not a bad deal I, I enjoy that type of bang for buck uh, and Sennheiser certainly comes with very good quality this one is kind of foldable and it comes with that carry bag very very good headphones and I, I think it certainly gives any Beats headphones a run for its money uh, so just check out the reviews and this particular headphone if you're interested Sennheiser is in my reading a very well respected uh, headphone brand German company Okay, so moving on from uh, the, the audio, the headphones, I'm going to just talk about sunglasses and, and my choice, uh, you know, these days is Maui Jim. So this one is the Maui Jim Malika Gooch uh, and, you know, they make very just excellent uh, quality lenses, you know, they're known for superb clarity, color uh, representation and certainly the glasses are of excellent quality. So check out Maui Jim sunglasses if you will of course we'll put in links as I can find so this is the Malico Gulch but there are many many other models of course uh, that you know will suit different preferences and styles all right so that's my choice of sunglasses for this particular trip and then lastly on the table here what I have is my shoes which this pair is something that I bought this year and something that I really really like this is an Australian brand this is Wild Rhino and this is the Banjo model and I chose this one because it's a, you know it's a slip-in it's not a lace-up and I enjoy having that option to just very quickly put on shoes without having to do a lace-up it's just very solidly done you know look at the quality of the stitching uh, it's full thickness leather that's what they describe it as I'll, I'll put links down to the bottom most of the shoes are lace-ups right if you look at the collection but you know this is something you know styling wise comfort uh, it's become one of my favorite shoes ever you know it's just something I've really enjoyed having so you know that's my wild, wild rhino banjo so something that I uh, bought this year in terms of my footwear um, something that I, I of course can't put on the table but I did put on the pictures at the front and I will put pictures on the side here for you to view is the tripod I'm using and it is actually a tripod and a selfie stick this is from Xiaomi it's the, the selfie stick it's got a Bluetooth uh, uh, transmitter to, to help you take uh, photos independently from a distance and it's just fantastic because it falls up into almost nothing uh, but it, it opens up into a very handy tripod you can use on your travels and like I'm using right now to make this video. Alright guys, so those are my items. Let's flip the camera around to, to wrap the video presentation up. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, you know, show and tell of these items. Uh, one last item on the list which I couldn't fit uh, with the camera on the table uh, is this. This is the Xiaomi geometric splicing backpack this is what they call it uh, i i kind of like to call it the turtle shell backpack because this kind of looks like a bit of a cyborg turtle to me uh, it's it's pretty fantastic actually uh, this is provided by gearvest and uh, you know it's got some nice uh, a really nice uh, practical compartments uh, in here including a, a glasses case which kind of self cleans the glasses which i've really found quite useful i'm going to try to put some pics uh, on the side here for you guys to see what actually is in this bag but you can obviously look at the website to find out more details so you know guys that's my uh, everyday carry items or at least some of it some of my favorite ones let me know what you think about uh, this collection of uh, items if you have different choices or if you would uh, choose things differently guys uh, 
If you enjoyed my videos, do consider subscribing. I put out new content weekly, always aiming to be unbiased and objective about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me and as always, I'll catch you guys next time.